On Monday, two 2023 WASH 100 Award winners, Northrop Grumman Chair, CEO and President Kathy Warden and CIA Chief Technology Officer Nand Mulchandani, were highlighted and celebrated for their accomplishments and for their selection to the government contracting sector's highest accolade. Secretary of the Army and 2023 WASH 100 Award winner Christine Wormuth provided a status update on the U.S. Army of 2030 activities and the early developmental stages of the Army of 2040 at the McAleese 14th Annual Defense Programs Conference. The U.S. Army is consolidating its communications and network modernization efforts into a single program executive office in support of the service branch's vision to achieve a unified network. Christine McKenzie has transitioned from Chief Technology Officer to Senior Technology Advisor at the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment. CISA is requesting approximately $425 million in its fiscal year 2024 budget proposal to fund the establishment of a new cyber analytics and data system. 27 research institutions are slated to receive a total of $21 million in funding through the U.S.-Ireland Research and Development Partnership, a scientific collaboration involving the United States, the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland. The Department of Energy will award $590 million in funding to continue clean energy research and development projects at four existing bioenergy research centers led by national laboratories and universities. The White House Office of Science and Technology Policy has released a document outlining the current administration's strategic priorities to foster public-private partnerships and enable government-wide collaboration as part of efforts to broaden U.S. leadership in aeronautics. 2023 Quantum Technologies Forum on April 5, 2023. Visit executivebiz.com slash events. SAFECOM and the National Council of Statewide Interoperability Coordinators, in collaboration with the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, have developed a document meant to help information technology professionals plan, implement and manage land mobile radio networks. Naval Surface Warfare Center Crane Division is requesting industry sources to submit solutions to enhance positioning, navigation and timing capabilities for hypersonic missile systems.